I've said it before and I'll say it again, over and over and over and over until I'm blue in the face. The radical left Democrats want to destroy our country and they're doing everything in their power to make that happen. And we have to stop them. It's certainly true that you keep on saying that over and over and over again, but I'd like to ask you a question I don't think you've ever been asked before, and that is why. Why would Democrats who were born and raised in this country want to destroy it? Why, why, because, uh, well, because they ja. Um, I, uh, what was the question again? Okay, I'll go slow to give you a chance. Democrats are Americans, right? And you're saying that Democrats, despite being Americans, are actively trying to destroy their own country. Explain to me how that makes any kind of sense. Well, because, uh, because Democrats, uh, Democrats see our, uh, Democrats are, they're crazy. They don't even know what they're doing. They just hate America and they want to destroy it because they, uh, they, uh, they, uh, this, uh, want to, uh, destroy it because they, uh, destroy, uh, anything they don't like, see? No, Mr. Trump. No, I don't see. That has to be one of the dumbest arguments that I've ever heard in my life. You're intimating that Democrats would cut off their own noses to spite their faces just because they hate them. Uh, absolutely. That's what I've been saying. These people are crazy. So, first you assert that Democrats want to destroy their own country. And then you justify your assertion by leveling the unfounded accusation that Democrats are just crazy, as if that makes any kind of sense whatsoever. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. You see, you're not supposed to listen to what I say. You're just supposed to let it wash over you and leave you feeling angry about the state of things. I'm sorry, diaper boy, but that just doesn't cut it. We're going to have to press you for an explanation here. Why would a political party of any country want to destroy the very country of which they are in charge? Explain this to me. Well, they have to see because uh, because because they're um, they're just crazy. All of them, every single Democrat, completely insane. It's a uh, it's a thing that uh, it's a thing that just sort of happens when you uh, when you become a Democrat. So your explanation is mass insanity, really? Uh, yeah, mass insanity. If you think about it, it's the only explanation. Well, no, it's not the only explanation. In fact, I have a better explanation just off the top of my head. You're a retard. I know that word has become something of a taboo, but really it's the best word for this situation. Your mental acuity is not where it should be. At age 78, you should be capable of at least some cogent rational thought, and yet your rationale is that of a three-year-old. It is, for want of a better word, quite literally retarded. Yeah, well, you're just, uh, just a big mean poopy head. And I rest my case. You, sir, are a dimwit, a moron, an imbecile. Your arguments are inane, devoid of intellect, ridiculous. You are a weak, spineless, pathetic little man, and nobody with even an ounce of self-respect would listen to a thing you have to say. It is all just blather nonsense. You have all the guile, charm, and charisma of a common garden slug. You are human filth, excrement, discharge. You are an adjudicated rapist, a liar, a fraudster, and now you are a convicted criminal. You may have always wanted people to adore you, but you will go down in history as a shit. A turd, an embarrassing stain on the undergarments of the human race. Your rhetoric is shallow, transparent, and laughable. You are Hitler light, Mongo Stalin, mini Mussolini. You are not loved, you are loathed loathed by every halfway intelligent person on the planet. Your own parents didn't love you, partially because they were incapable of love, just as you are, but also because you are fundamentally odious. You have zero redeeming features. You are a vile, disgusting narcissist, capable of adoring only yourself. You tick every box on the psychopath checklist. The only reason you didn't become a serial killer is because you lack the balls. I'd almost feel sorry for you if you weren't such a nauseating fuck knuckle. When I'm president again, you'll be sorry. I'll incarcerate anyone who says a bad thing about me. President again? Ha! The closest you'll come to the White House is watching Casablanca on the TV in the prison rec room. Idiot.